Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a trigonometry problem. So we're given that tangent 11 is equal to A, and we're supposed to find tangent 1 in terms of A. Of course the angles here are given in degrees. Alright, so what are we going to do? Well, we're going to be using some identities here, especially the double angle identity is super helpful here. So how do we associate 11 degrees and 1 degrees, right? So that's what we're supposed to do here. So this is what I'd like to do. I'm going to go ahead and take tangent 11. And let me write the formula first. Well, what about that? You know, let's start with the formula. So we know that tangent 2 alpha is equal to 2 times tangent alpha over 1 minus tangent squared alpha. And if you are wondering where that formula comes from, you can look at the sum formula for tangent, which is tangent alpha plus beta, and replace beta with alpha, and then you're going to get the double angle formula, which is very, very helpful. Now, what, what I'm going to do here is I'd like to use the 11 as my alpha. Uh, so what, what that means is that I can find tangent 22 here. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So if tangent 11 is A, then obviously we can find tangent 22 because 22 is going to be 2 times 11. So in this case, our alpha is going to be 11, right? Okay. And then if you replace alpha with 11, you're going to be getting 2 times tangent 11 divided by 1 minus tangent squared 11. Okay, great. So this is the relationship between tangent 22 and tangent 11. Now, what, what can we do from here? Well, we can at least replace tangent 11 with A and find tangent 22 in terms of A. How is that going to help us? You'll see in a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to replace tangent 11 with A. So tangent 22 is going to be 2A divided by 1 minus A squared. Great. So this is the value of tangent 22, but I do need tangent 1. What am I going to do? Okay, great. So we're going to double this again. That's what we're going to do. What happens if you double it? Well, if you double 22, you're going to get what? 44, right? Great. That's the key. Okay. So basically, since I know tangent 22, I can find tangent 44 because this just happens to be 2 times 22. So what I need to do is then just write the formula, the same one for tangent 44. So it's going to look like the following. 2 times tangent 22 divided by 1 minus tangent squared 22. All right, but we know that tangent 22 is equal to that expression. So what I can do here is I can basically replace, I can basically replace tangent 22 with that expression. So it's going to look like the following, 2 times 2a over 1 minus a squared divided by 1 minus the quantity 2a over 1 minus a squared squared. All right, so that's basically... In other words, I'm finding tangent 44 in terms of tangent 11. So it's kind of like a quadruple angle formula, sort of, okay? So let me go ahead and simplify this, and then I'll tell you what we're going to do from this point on, okay? Now, how do I write this in the simplest form? Let's go ahead and do some algebra here, you know, a little manipulation here and there. This is going to be 4a over 1 minus a squared, and the bottom is going to be if you square this, this is going to be the quotient of squares. To make a common denominator, the bottom is 1 minus a squared quantity squared. So you're, you're going to have to multiply by 1. So it's going to be 1 minus a squared squared minus 2a quantity squared, which is 4a squared. And that should be divided by 1 minus a squared squared. Now, this is kind of like a complex fraction. Not complex numbers, but just like a, it's called a complex fraction. We have... A fraction in the numerator and a fraction in the denominator. So what am I supposed to do? Flip the second one and multiply so we can get tangent 44 in terms of tangent 11 in a simpler form. Okay, so it's, this is what it's going to look like. 4a over 1 minus a squared. And then I'm going to flip the this, this one here. But when I flip it, I'm going to get 1 minus a squared quantity squared. And the other part, which is the numerator here, but it's going to become a de denominator, is going to be a difference of 2 squares, or you can just go ahead and expand it. You know, it's going to be 1 minus 2a squared plus a to the fourth power minus 4a squared. Awesome. So we can just go ahead now and simplify a little bit. Okay. So for example, 1 minus a squared is going to cancel out, leaving us with a fairly simple 
expression. Let's see what this gives us. So I have a 4a times 1 minus a squared, which is something obviously I can distribute. Let's go ahead and distribute that. So it's going to give us 4a minus 4a cubed. And then that is going to be divided by the bottom one. If I write it in the standard form, a to the fourth power, and obviously here I have two terms that I can simplify, that's going to become negative 6a squared and then plus 1. So this is the value of tangent 44 in terms of tangent 11. Remember, we started off with tangent 11 and we got to tangent 44. But why did we get to 44? We do need tangent 1. Here's the trick. 44 plus 1 is equal to 45. That's the trick. Okay, so let's go ahead and proceed. What am I going to do? Well, I'm just going to write the tangent 1 as tangent 45 minus 44. And as you know, this is the difference formula for tangent. And as you know, tangent alpha minus beta is equal to tangent alpha minus tangent beta divided by 1 plus tangent alpha times tangent beta. I think you already know that. So let's go ahead and write down tangent 1 in terms of these two expressions. So it's going to look like the following. Tangent 45 minus tangent 44 divided by 1 plus tangent 45 times tangent 44. Well, what do you know about tangent 45? It's equal to 1. Exactly. So this is going to give us a nice, nice expression. Let's see how that proceeds. Well, I'm going to replace tangent 45 with 1. And I'm going to replace tangent 44 with this expression. All right. So what is that expression? Well, it is equal to 4a minus 4a cubed divided by 6. Well, I'm supposed to write the a to the fourth first minus 6a squared plus 1. So that's just the top. At the bottom, I'm going to have 1 plus tangent 45, which is 1. So it doesn't really matter whether you multiply or not. But uh, I should be getting the same thing here. All right? So isn't this great? Okay. Now, if you were able to find tangent 1 in terms of a, that was the goal, right? But I need to simplify this. Let's go ahead and simplify this and put it in a nicer way, right? Let's go ahead and do that. So how am I going to write tangent 1 in a nicer way. Well, I can just go ahead and make a common denominator. So I should be getting something like, and by the way, notice that we get the same denominator. So I can just totally ignore the denominators and focus on the numerators because they're going to cancel out anyways. So I should be getting something like a to the fourth minus 6a squared plus 1 minus 4a plus 4a cubed because I have to negate it divided by the top is going to be a to the fourth minus 6a squared plus 1, and then I'm supposed to add 4a minus 4a cubed. Let's go ahead and arrange this, like write it in the simplest form or the standard form, and then we should be done. Okay, so we get a to the fourth power from here, and then I get plus 4a cubed, and then minus 6a squared, and then minus 4a plus 1, divided by a to the fourth, minus 4a cubed, minus 6a squared, plus 4a plus 1. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.